HDOS client is actually officially on Jagex launcher. Yes, there was actually no such option. So there was new official client, there was Runelite, and there was no HDOS. You actually have to download it yourself from hdos.dev. I'm gonna leave it in the video description. Well, it turns out they actually worked with Jagex and uh, everything is now fine. So let's log in into the game and you will be greeted with uh, maybe potentially very nostalgic screen if you played back then. Uh, yeah, this is one of these. So you can see the graphics are a little bit different. If you played back in 2009, these are the player models. See, this, the eyes and all that, the, the, the way they move, like the AFK animations and stuff. Also, a lot of animations have been changed as well. So if you do the dance, it will do that. Oh my fucking God, time for new video. Hooba, 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 haba, haba. <laughs> Damn it, good times. So when I made those couple of videos on the client before, the biggest issue was that, well, everything was running smooth. People were very happy. They, like I'm currently, run, this is my FPS, 320, yes. And if you have like a high refresh rate monitor, like 240 Hertz plus, it's just so smooth. You can't even see that in YouTube video, how smooth this whole thing is. It's very, very smooth. Well, I guess my view distance is a little bit, uh, but can I actually change it? So the settings are here. And you see how it pops out? It's not like rune light. Well, it is, but it's um, in the in-game screen. I'm not sure if there's a way to change that. So it goes on the side instead, because it's kind of a little bit weird. Maybe if you're like PVMing and it just kind of opens, but maybe there's a way to change it. And maybe I'll undock settings. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's like this, then it goes. So I'll, I guess maybe that could be better actually. So we just open, open and it this, I still opens like if you want to see loot trackers and stuff. Okay, regardless, so the biggest issue with the client was that there were no plugins or they had like five plugins at the time or something. And that was the biggest issue. No matter how good the client was, you would not play on this because you couldn't see ground items, you know, the text, there would be no notifications, it's just no plugins. There is import button, I believe. Yes, there's import profile and you can import the settings from Runelite. So like most of the plugins, well, I'm saying most, I'm not sure if those, uh, what's it called, community hub ones work or not. Now, because the client is using assets from 2009 RuneScape, that means summoning was available back then. Now, obviously there's not gonna be any summoning skill, but that means the assets are inside the game, inside the cache, so you can play around with it. There's a summoning thing that you can enable, and then you can select the pet that you have summoned. So I have a baby mole, we're gonna go to boss pets, show more, and it's gonna come up as the very first one, and you can pick any summoning familiar to override this as. So let's say Adam and Minotaur, it's from summoning, it's this guy. <laughs> And apparently, I, I've seen somebody with a war tortoise running around. I, 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 I'm wondering if he's training agility because he ran past. So what I'm curious about, yeah, see that? That's that's a he has a giant squirrel. So obviously we're gonna do something good, yeah. We're gonna do a pakyak because I am going to do some Calvary Queen, and I would want to have a pakyak with me. Now it does look like the pakyak is a little bit too big, so it kind of clips into you, and like it's not. There's nothing you can do about it, at least right now. But yes, you can have your own pack yak. Obviously it doesn't work. You, you can't use a pack yak, but it, it looks extremely weird because we playing old school. Yes, that's the one. Oh, there's actually, I think it still clips in you, but it doesn't like at least hide its head like the pack yak does. This looks very nice. So I'm just grabbing some potions for Calpha Queen. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's not anglerfish. That is Rocktail. It still uses anglerfish name though. And yes, you eat it still as an anglerfish, but it's Rocktail, isn't it? That That's the whole thing, that the anglerfish was based on RuneScape's three already available anglerfish from, you know, when, like living rock caverns where they go and mine that concentrated gold and coal. And there's all these guys guarding it and you can fish for cave fish and Rocktail, yes, you can eat it. Wait, what the hell is this? How far does the view distance go? Bro, I can see Alcatraz Bang from here. There's no way to click on the Bang boots, but like, cause sometimes you could cheese some things in the games, like a uh, ZMI altar, let's say when you runecraft, it's so far away, but on runelight you can click on it from far away and it will start going and it will eventually runecraft the runes. Uh, maybe it still uh, works in here as well, but not this far, you know, that's like way, way too far. What about, cat? see, yeah, it would work. That's so far away. There's a cut option from that far away, not here. Here, still exit. Wow, 
that is exactly like Moonlight, how far you can click. So I went to do a little bit of Calify Queen and I died accidentally because I was using like two accounts and it was just like a little bit different using this client. I didn't notice like HP because it wasn't pinging, you know, like there's a sound that you can set in Runelite and probably in here as well, but I just didn't set up anything. So I died and that means I lost my pet mole, but that's no problem because all of the pets are automatically insured. However, the problem is that I went to check on Briofita and it says that you have no reclaimable pets. And if you scroll throughout the whole thing, there's no such thing as mole. It just doesn't exist. I had to double check, triple check, and I asked my friends, am I missing something? Like, what is going on? So I, I looked at my log and it's green. I have a baby mole, but it's nowhere to be found. It's not following me. It is also not in the bank. Okay, watch this. I'm going to check again. No reclaimable pets. No mole at all. That's like one of the things that it should be shown regardless if I have the pet or if I don't have the pet. You log off, you log in with Runelite instead, and uh, you'll get the pet back. Check pre beta, and there we go. Reclaimable baby mole. Why is that happening on that client? I have no idea, but I need to buy a reclaim which it costs 1 million. I'm looking through some items as well, like Cerberus has this weird primordial crystal looking, and then I see that I have the, I think they were called, not Pegasian, what are they called? Steadfast boots, something like that, from, uh, that you would obtain from Glacors. Also looking at the buffs, you can see the Calphites remaining at the top corner. There's the cannon timer as well, so I guess most of the buffs, buffs are up here, but you can, I can just drag them down if you like, it actually just, kind of stick. So while I was doing that Drake task, you can see the XP an hour is also shown as 25k, XP gained 15k, shows all the attack and HP and everything that I gained as well. And the drop log is still not updated. I thought it's going to be imported from Runelight. Maybe I selected something wrong, but yeah, there is no, even though I killed a bunch of things. But yes, there is a loot tracker as well. What happens if you click on it? Nothing. It just hovers. It becomes like a little bit white when you hover over, but there is nothing. There's toggle item. What is that? Oh, it's just gone, I guess. You can delete it if you feel like. Oh my god. Is that a dragon pickaxe? What a nostalgia. I think even like uh, RuneScape 3 does not have this pickaxe anymore. In fact, I actually saw it when I went to the collection log and I clicked one of the wildy bosses, like Callisto and Artyo. You can see I got 46 in total, but it shows like that newer model that was available back then in like 2009. The Alking animations, these guys are doing it. In RuneScape 3, it's not even like this anymore. It's like a completely different one. So this is again from those old times from like 2009. I'm gonna teleport using these Karamja gloves and it's gonna have that old teleport animation. And I'm gonna try to get a Jad task because the fight caves are changed. I believe the Jad itself is going to be like the very not the very old one, but like, yeah, the one that was changed back in 2009. All right, we're gonna try to do this with uh, full melee. It's actually, I don't think it's like too efficient because like when those blobs spawn, you would have to use like uh, chinchampas to like blast them or maybe like ice barrage or something. I, I just didn't want to take any swaps or anything. So let's see how uh, this will go. Uh, this is the caves. Yes, they definitely look distinct, but I want to see the jad itself and maybe even those 360s. I believe even like the, everything has changed, isn't it? Even like 160s, or I mean 180s. What the hell? What is that? Huh? Who's this guy? What? <laughs> this is so weird. I have no clue. That guy looks like from the engineering or something, doesn't he? Oh my God, that's a thrall. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I took thralls out. That was the actual thrall that I summoned. Oh my God. That's actually so goddamn cool. I thought I entered like someone else's instance. What am I doing? Why am I using, um, I came here specifically with melee and I want to range those bats from far away so we don't have to like run all the way you know to them. I'm gonna bash this guy and then wait 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 until they spawn then I'm gonna spec with the dragon two-hander. I missed one guy but yeah it's like I missed two guys oh no how did I not hit land anything with piety and all the poses and all that. It's a multi-attack instead of using chins or ice barrage you can also use this one. We're testing the client god damn it you're not speed running anything look that's the guy level 180 my gosh. There's also a timer, just like in Runelite. So it says, like, I've been in here for, like, seven minutes almost in these fight caves. Yes, that's the 360s. Look at that smooth animation of them. What is... Look, look, look. He's just standing, chilling. These toes, goddammit. I know that Jad is going to be slamming them on the floor, just shooting with range and stuff. I didn't even see the hits. That was actually very quick KC compared to those 180s, which seem to be tanky as hell against this Inquisitor's 
maze. Also check the combat achievements and it said that the master combat achievement speedrun time is 30 minutes. So that's not gonna happen. It's about to hit that. And I'm only at wave 57. Look at that yellow one as well. Whoa, it blends in with the background of uh, the, the, the floor. Those, those yellow lines. Look, it adapted. Okay, let's see Jad. Yes, that's the Jad. That is the Jad. What was that? Was that a range attack? Yes, then you play melee. I'm not gonna use any like boosting uh, things because player is just way too low. Although I should, I could probably like flick a little bit. J just, just like a little bit. Forgot my dragon warhammer specifically for Jad. Well, that was close. <laughs> okay, I had 25 player left. Okay, we got the uh, cape, 14 KC. My best PB was 33, so I actually wasn't that bad compared to like the previous ones because I was not on a slayer task and I definitely know that I was previously on a slayer task. So, not gonna put this in. I'm gonna keep this fire cape. Now I have one in the bank and one on me. Because I have no infernal cape. Help. I didn't know the Pakyaks had like their own chat heads. Do they ever speak in, in the game? That is so far away and you can still use it. Still can. I can actually. Wait, still? You can click from here and it would go if... I assume if there was no blockage, which I can actually test out by going here. If I can still click, yes you can. Use lift. Wait, it doesn't work. We should like go really far away. Let's say from here, pass through. Again, this is for like uh, to places like ZMI altar and so on. So no, it does not work. Even though you can click, it's kind of annoying because you can't really tell how close you actually have to be. Oh, I believe that that's the that was the area. What about Gorok? Should be snowy looking. Yeah, I guess it's pretty nice is there's no uh, snow particles, but I believe you don't get them anyway because, well, this is Waldy, would kind of mess up with things. Yeah, looking good. You can even see the Gorok. I didn't know they added that. I believe that was with the Desert Treasure 2, maybe. I noticed that the floor is always like this cobblestone or something. If you really zoom in, there's like these tiny, tiny rocks everywhere you go, actually. So you can't really see those squares but i believe with the uh, rune knights hd client you also don't really see them anyway well these butterflies are making these green trails behind them that is so cool looking so that is my main account and this is with hd os and this is with rune light yeah you can definitely see the difference this is like actually very old school looking the smoothness is definitely not the same as i'm very very much used to hd os now and oh my god, it is so smooth. This is how this guy looks like on Runelight. Okay, Max Infernal Cape, nice. He has the Keras uh, thingy. Wait, he's about to maybe potentially teleport out. Look at the cape here. Bam, the, the, the particles. Bye.